Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Kimbo here. It's time for an epic unboxing. So, got this package here, courtesy of uh, Amazon. And, oh, we got a Bakugan up in here. Okay. We're back. So, oh, we got a couple things up in here. So, you know what? I'll, I'll show one of them off. It's not really like a, a thing pertaining to the channel, you know. I mean, y'all already know why y'all are here. You you know the, the titles and the, well, the, everything in the title. Blah, 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 blah. Words, if I can. But, uh, yeah, so what I picked up is two things. First of all, I got this. So it's a game card case for uh, Switch, you know, game card box. So, uh, yeah, I think it's called like high hiving or hiding. Um, but check this case out, man. So it's a, you know, it's a case to hold like game cards and everything. And I have my Switch. I play a lot. You know, I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Violet. I've been shiny hunting on there and such. Anybody wants to add my friend code, I'll just say it right now. one 4 4 9 7 8 7 7 7 7 6 9 You can slow it down or listen back as much as you want to, but that's my friend code if you want to add me on there and such. I just ask no trolling or anything like that. Uh, we would love to game with y'all and such, especially if y'all play Pokemon or something. Who knows? Maybe we can jump into some raids and such, because I, I play a lot. But, um, yeah, like Pokemon I've been playing a lot of. I'm really hyped for Tears of the Kingdom. You already know. But this case, look how many freaking slots it has, man. I'm pretty sure it's 48 overall. So, like, 12 there, 12 more down there. So, 24, and the same thing on this side. So, overall, 48 uh, slots for games. And I have a lot of games, and I need to get a new cart. So, yeah, a new case anyways, because I had so many games. Oh, So, this is nice. I was having the Game Boy design with it. Well, yeah, so that's the first thing. I'll put that off to the side and such but uh yeah i guess a little easter egg type thing i don't freaking know uh starts off and then we got the, the main event so what y'all are here for and that being get that out of there that being this y'all so we got the bakugan legends uh box so we got the tins uh they brought back a tin for legends man and it's starting to be rumored that this might be the last uh season for the reboot, which if so makes me really, really sad because I think there's potential to go beyond, like, season five for sure. Like, legit, if they focused on the goddamn cards big time and also, like, other gimmicks and such, like, they could definitely do, like, more seasons. I hope it's not true because there's still so much potential, like, you know, still not seeing any wind-up Bakugan like the Baku Tremors, not seeing any spinning Bakugan like the Baku Cyclones, like, older gimmicks and stuff like that, which are really, really amazing to see. There's still some they could work with besides the lights. Um, but yeah, man, the potential is definitely there, but like the cards would just help out that much more. But, uh, yeah, dude, it is awesome though. Seeing that we've got another tin with this and also peep with it, like the design on it, it features a Garganoid, uh, Webum. So these tins feature fusion Bakugan. So bringing back the fusion, it's a full melting pot with this season, man. Like I said, bring back some Season 1 Bakugan, like Truncanius, uh, you know, like, I love Truncanius Ultra's design, Trino Ultra, uh, Goreen Ultra, you know, because Goreen didn't have, like, a simple version, but, like, Goreen in general, and, bro, if they don't make a damn Tico, <laughs> I'd be so mad, like, for real, I, I really want them to make a Tico figure, like, that's one of the ones I really hope that there would be a chance for them to make, like, Tico, also, uh, Skuller, don't you forget about Skuller. I don't know if Artulian will happen, that's like a long shot out, but yeah. And Gorillion would be another one to see, it would be amazing. We got Drago Infinity, of course, with the figure, but like, I want to see Gorillion as an actual figure. It would be amazing too, man. And also, like, plus 400 shields for Arliss, and plus 3 fists for Arliss as well. Like, why is Arliss still left behind? It's already left behind big time with the cards. But uh, yeah, overall, this thing looks so, so dope. Loving the artwork for it in the front. Um, check out the back right there. Garganoid Webum. Getting it in Ventus Aquas. And, uh, wait. There's two? Yo, what? There's two Bakugan. In. Okay, so Garganoid Webum. And there's another one. Oh, bad. That's nice, man. Okay. Then the Battle League, you can scan right there. So two, two cards. Two gate cards. And four cores. So there are two Bakugan with this. All right, so. Yeah, so there's one mystery Bakugan. I didn't read that part at the bottom. But yeah, Garganoid Webum and then one mystery box. Now, hopefully it's something really sick. But without further ado, we got to get into this bad boy. Look at the design of Drago on the tin and the metallic design for it. Three spots right there so you can hold your Bakugan, which is really cool. And it's definitely magnetic, so I'm sure, you know, um, the Bakugan will pop open with it. But yeah, it's a, it's an Arliss Bakugan, whatever. Is that a Villock? If I got a Villock, I'll be like, damn it. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man, it's probably it's probably a Villock. I mean, if so, I won't I won't be mad because Villock's stats are actually not too shabby for uh, you know, for legends. So yeah, let's see, get that out of there. There's a spot for like, there's literally a spot for a card deck and everything with this man. The storage space and everything with that. Come on, y'all. Come on, Spin Master. You already know you should be putting in for the game but you should be putting in for the tcg for sure but uh i'll leave those in there and we're just gonna pop them out so do the colors it's a forest green type color for like garganoid web i'm uh, you're trying to stay closed so we're gonna we're gonna try to keep you closed well all right the head the head popped out um maybe maybe i'm, I'm trying to save the surprise keep that still hope it's not like a Oh, I hope it's not a malfunction. That would suck if it doesn't close. All right, there we go. All right, cool. With that, then all the cores right there. And then that's... Damn it. <laughs> that's definitely Villoc. Oh, shoot. But I'm not I'm not mad because Villoc actually has some pretty good stats this time around. You know, like the, the Geogon Rising one, I would probably be a bit more upset. And like, is it... Like, we've got another Villoc, yes, but at the same time, you know, at least, at least it's got some pretty good stats. So, let's see. Bop, bop. Get those out of there. We're going to look at the, of course, the gate cards first. So, uh, Archeleon on that one, 500, 200, 0, 400, 100, 300, so big time boost for Pyrus. Magic Shield, if you're about to get the bonus on it, you already know. Like if it gets a bonus with a magic shield, it'll get it if it lands on a gate card. And then, yo, holy crap, Shark Tower is punching the hell out of Nilius right there, dude. It's a Kirkpatrick. Uh, nothing for Pyrus. 500, 300, 100, 400, 0. So big time boost for Aquas and Fist bonus. Y'all already know how it goes. And now we got to get into the core, so the pro side of things. Plus 150, plus 4, Flame Fist. Plus 100, uh... Yeah, plus 100, Aquas, and Ventus plus 3. This would be a perfect time to put in, like, an Arliss one. I really hope they do, like, show some love to Arliss, man. Uh, another one of the fists, same thing. And plus 150, plus 2. Very solid uh, cores for it, though, for both of them. But, uh, yeah, so, getting into it, we already know it's Villoc. So, I'll get into Villoc first. I do like the colors for it. Antagonist for Season 3. Uh, yo, it's got what, though? Is that a part of Oh, uh, don't tell me something broke off. I hope not. It's like a little piece of metal. It's like magnetized on the bottom of your lock. But I love how, um, you know, they, they kept similar colors to uh, Evolutions when it comes to Arliss, which I don't mind. But with Legends, they made the paint pop that much more. So, like, you could really see the silver. So, definitely, like, hype about that. Seeing like how the, how the silver's popping out and everything with this, so you can tell this is definitely like Legends territory. Looks really, really dope though, and I do like Villoc's design overall. Looking really cool antagonist for the third season. Uh, but yeah, and then of course uh, Garganoid web them up in here, but we'll get into that in a bit. Might as well just open up. Um, do do do. Let's see, bop, bop, bop. Yeah, might as well open up uh, Villoc first. Here we go, and oh, roll back. Try this again. And nope, too much mustard. Roll back. Hey, you got it with the rollback. <laughs> nice. But overall, it does look really sick. Main head right there, all the silver on it. And then the two heads on the side. You know, kind of looking like arms wacky, waving, inflatable, arm flailing tube man. Or, or Villoc or whatever. Wacky, waving, inflatable, arm flailing Villoc. But yeah, it, it still looks really, really awesome, man. Definitely dig the design for Villoc. Um, it looks like Villoc might have, like, maybe got some inspiration from um, Vice Rocks. Because it just reminds me a lot of, like, it's designed from, like, the first season. But, yeah, man. Overall, looking really, really dope. And heads back in. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. And that's how you close it up. Pretty simple. But, yeah. All right. So. Uh, oh, I just had to clip it together. Uh, da -da -da. I can get it anyways. There we go. Like, just the, the clip in the back wasn't down. But now we got to get into Garganoid Webum. See Infusions return with this, man. And look at the color. This is reminding me of, like, Season 4, like, Titanium Surge. Like, how they did, like, the, the Baku, like, Camo Surge. And, like, you know, 
like the kind of camo design bakugan like that color tone that they had at the end of the first era it's reminding me a little bit of that like the forest green with it looks really really dope though lime green for the paint um you know as well as on the arms for it and yo some of that blue right there it's an interesting like color choice for it. more like a cyan with it and then you got some more like an aqua blue but overall looking really cool and it's awesome they're putting fusions back in i just hope that they're giving fusion some pretty good stats to where they can hang because like some fusion designs are really really awesome like some fusions have really really awesome designs but didn't have the craziest stats or anything so it's tough to use them but let's see how's this bad boy look hey garganoid webum overall having a terrifying ass design like think of garganoid and webum being combined together is terrifying man they have an artwork like what was it like stinging web snare for the art work for the cards you see shun like just terrified of that thing i'd be terrified too man like this insane abomination looking so wild but then it's got the arms that do go out um i can get them they do twist forward but they they twist down if i can get it I'm not gonna force them down right now but uh yeah overall just having a really sick design and webham's another bakugan that i think would be cool to have like you know more molds for like ultras because we never got in pyrus and never got in arliss and I would love to see them actually get, like, like you know, well, to see it get a, f if I can freaking words, to actually get a design in Pyrus and Arliss, because I love Webham's design a lot. But, yeah, man, overall looking really, really dope is Garganoid X Webham. Be power of 100, I hope it has some pretty good, like, boost with it or something, because 100, uh, man, you know. I'm just hoping, like, this time around, the fusions has some pretty... Like, there are some fusions that are definitely usable and strong. But, yeah, some, it's just, like, tough. But there is a Garganoid Webum, man. So, you can see Aquas Ventus with it. Yeah. So, now, we gotta get into it. So, we're starting off with Villoc. 603. Lands on a Fist. On a Fist. Lands on a Flame Fist. It can add a core. So, that's the big-time thing with it. So, that's putting up to, like, 1,500. Yeah, 1,250... Plus that, while well, the Flame Fist, like if it gets a 650 with it, yeah, it'll be 1500. It'll be up to 1506 it can get up to. So that's some serious power. Definitely stronger than like the Geogon Rising version, which definitely glad to see that. It's got some big time power and does well because I love the design for this thing. Just Geogon Rising version, not too easy to use. But this version, definitely, you can use it. And then we got Garganoid Webum. What the hell is that? Okay. Double Fist 110. But if it lands on a fist, it could fuse right away. Oh, bet. Okay, so first of all, 110. Top damage straight away in the game. Right there. So on a damage deck, your boy's going to put in that work. And honestly, on a regular fist, yeah, it'll put up to like 250 and 12. It'll be a 12 damage at that point. Literally right from the jump. So, yeah, you can't sleep on a damage deck-wise. What the hell? Are you kidding me? Bro. 1,010. That boy got power. Oh, okay. Now, now I'm intrigued. 1150, 1150, and 12. So, decent B power with it. Uh, breaking a thousand, so still having some big time B power. Yeah. Beast. Um, and all that damage. Okay. This just got me hyped for the fusions, man. Like, I, I love the fusion Bakugan. This is going to make it where, like, Shields of Australia and those card packs. Oh, my God. It's just, dude, these fusions are making it where, like, Fusion Force Shields of Astroya, like, those fusion cards are going to be so, so strong. If they're putting, like, credible fusions in, like, and putting that work. Dude, it's diversifying the game that much more. And still the balance is there. I love it. I love it so much, man. They're, they've done a great job at balancing this, even up to the fifth season. But, yeah. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this review on this epic of Bakugan Legends 10. If I can get both days on there. Do do do. And nope. Roll back. What the <laughs> We're sticking with it. Alright. You wanted to open on the freaking tin. Alright, well that works. Yeah. Well we gotta see. Um Strong to pick up two cores. Are you strong to pick up you got a strong magnet, bro. You might be strong enough to pick up two cores as well. Um if you overlap. If you overlap, you can. So it's got a decent magnet. But yeah. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this review on this absolutely epic Bakugan Legends 10. Yeah, man, I might have said Evolutions, but still a force to have it. But Bakugan Legends uh, Garganoid X Webum 10.
But hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. And like I said, if you're wondering where I got it, check Amazon. That's where I got it. But yeah, anyways, till then, it's your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, stay awesome and Bakugan Brawl. I'm about out of here.